Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cyber Fitness and in today's video I have yoga sequence part 2 so the last video previous video I did part 1 floor series yoga stretching and this time part 2 will be standing series so standing up mostly will challenge and work on our balance so balance poses and strengthening as well so equilibrium let's get yourself ready get your mat you don't need any preps just you and your mat and let's work yoga standing series part two let's have fun namaste and let's start with some Bend, so we will do side bends, right and left side, then back bend and forward bend. So legs together, feet together, arms together, squeeze them tight to your ears as tight as you can. Interlock your fingers, your point fingers are straight, index, and then slowly bend to the right side. Still squeezing the arms towards your ears. Hips are forward. Hips are aligned, just like headlights. So try not, not to twist the spine or the hips and just get as deep as you can and hold. Going to hold to the right side first. Get a little deeper. Hold. And slowly come up stretch up and let's bend to the left side slowly so no rush side bend so try to keep the hips forward if that left hip wants to go back push it back forward squeezing the arms towards your ears elbows are locked fingers together face forward opening the front of your neck get a little deeper Side stretch, stretching the obliques, the ribs, the intercostal muscles, and so we come back up. So those are the side stretches, and then back bend stretch, relaxing the head back first, relaxing your neck, two arms in namaskar, keeping the arms straight, relaxing the head and the neck, if you have to shake a little bit, and slowly arching the head back, and then start arching your spine back so it looks like this from the side arms towards the ceiling relax the head the neck and slowly start arching back as you're pushing the hips forward try not to bend the knees unless you have to jump you can bend your knees slightly but not too much otherwise knees lock and arching back breathe Head is relaxed, neck is relaxed, arms reaching back to the back wall, arching the spine even deeper and hold. Back stretch. Full extension of the back and the spine. Full extension going backward and stretching and opening the front of your body. The abdominals, your core, your chest, the internal organs. So Extending the back and the spine and stretching the front of the body. Forward bend. So, forward bend, same thing. Keeping the arms tight, fingers pointing up to the ceiling, and legs are together and slowly coming down. Try not to bend the knees. If you have to, then you can bend the knees slightly and slowly going down. Forward bend with control. So, no rush. When you get down, touch the palms to the floor first. You can bend your knees a few times just to warm up the hips, the back of your legs, your knees. Get a little pops out of your knees. And then hold here, holding the palms into the floor and relaxing the head more towards your knees. Try to extend the back of the legs so push the back of the legs 
towards the back wall, push them back and hold. Try to lock your knees and hold. As you're bringing your head as close to your knees allows you to. Standing forward bend. If you want, you can grab one heel at a time. So scoop them, strong grip, and then really pull those hips, your hips toward the ceiling, and lock the back of the knees. Extending the legs straight, bringing the head to your knees, and hold. Elbows squeezing in towards each other. Standing forward bend. So elbows are in, arms are in, head is towards your knees, chest to your thighs. If you have to bend your knees slightly for modification, and you can place the arms, the palms, towards the floor. Start with that. And eventually you extend the back of the legs fully, lock the knees, push the legs back. Slowly come up on vertebrae at a time, arms reaching to the ceiling and arms slowly down. So those are the four sides, right, left, back stretch and forward standing bend. Very important for the back, for the core and the spine mostly, lubricating the spine and the joints. Now let's do some balance balls. So we'll do the tree first. Everybody knows the tree. There is different levels with the tree. So again, working on your balance, doing the right side first, meaning we're bending the right knee up and the left one is locked. And then we switch the opposite, it's both sides. So let's get stable. You're balancing your left leg, lock that left knee and bring the right foot towards your knee. You can start as low as here. If your balance is not as good, start right foot to your left ankle. Bring the arms in Namaskar and hold. If you wanna go further, bring the right foot to your knee and hold. That's how you start, just little steps at a time, the ankle, the knee, and if you wanna get deeper into your balance and stretch more into the hip, if you can't do that, then bring the foot onto your hip, on the front of your hip, where you, is your hip flexors, where your quads attach. So bring the right foot over onto your left hip, hold first with one arm, and bring the other arm, the opposite arm, in the Namaskar. And hold here, that's your balance, right here, three pose. So we start with the ankle, then go up to the knee, and then all the way up to the hip for more challenging. And when you really find that balance, and then you can bring the other arm into Namaskar, elbows towards your body, and hold. The knees pointing down, hips pushing forward. So knee down, hip forward and the standing leg on the floor, the left knee is locked. That's your balance, it's all in the knee. Right here, it's not your foot, it's your knee. When your knee is locked and your leg is pushing back, that what holds you. The foot is after that. Namaskar and hold. You can try variations with the arms to the side, Arms going up, growing the tree, bringing them down. You can twist slightly to the right, working and challenging your balance. Slowly with control to the left. Come back, you can repeat that a few times. Turning right side. And the left side. Always keep the left knee locked and pushing that back of the knee towards the back wall. If you really want to go crazy and it's the most advanced trip pose, arms in Namaskar, slowly bending forward with control, touch the fingers to the mat first and then bend your left knee. First you have to touch the mat, always be safe, then bend the left knee. When you find yourself down and you're balanced even more, I'm balancing on my toes only now. So left arm in Namaskar, right in namaskar and hold elbows down towards your body and stretch up 
coming slowly down again fingers to the floor extending the left leg pushing the knee back lock the left knee and slowly bring yourself back to where you started in a tree pose standing tree hold and slowly release the right leg down then you repeat the same sequence with the left knee so this time you're balancing on your right leg right knee is locked left foot over your hip flexor you can again start as little from your ankle and balance here you can try with the knee a little further always knees to the side and then the third level foot over the hip so slowly with control just pushing the hips forward the knees go down the left knee down right knee is locked and strong that's what's holding you and then bring the arms in now scar again if you want to go down for more challenge place the fingers on the floor bend the right knee coming down slowly with control when you find your balance here we're only balancing on our right foot on our toes so bringing the left arm then the right arm and hold elbows to your body slowly bring the fingers down extend the right knee bring the left arm up the right arm up namaskar tree pose you can do the variation with the arms to the side arms to the ceiling you can turn left side right side just play with your balance a little more hmm. left side hold and slowly release the left leg down always remember one side is better balanced than the other usually if you're right-handed you have better balance on your left leg the lefty has better balance on the right leg it's always the case so it's counterbalancing tree pose so we did we did that there's different variation different levels with the tree pose start with the ankle the knee way up in the hip and going down to the floor so challenge if you have to modify it, modify so just take your time next one will be standing bow really good strong balance pose and this pose left so actually the right so we're standing on the left leg bending the right knee up grabbing the right ankle from the inside inside of the ankle fingers out so strong grip into the ankle your balance is your left knee left leg so left knee is locked the back of the knee pushing back to the back wall extending the left arm up stretch up start with the right knee to your left knee and slowly hinging from your hips stretching forward so the hinge is right in your hips bending forward and stretching forward with your left arm and bringing the right leg all the way up to the ceiling toes to the ceiling left knee is still locked hold and slowly come back up Standing bow pose or natarash. So again, the other side, one side is always better balanced. Again, right knee lock, bend the left knee, grab the left ankle from the inside, strong grip, tight grip, align your hips, hips pointing forward, knee to knee, Extend the right arm, stretch to the ceiling, chest forward, and slowly pulling the leg up to the ceiling as you're bending and hinging from your hips down. Stretching your right arm down and forward. So right arm is straight forward, one line, fingers together, palms facing down, and stretching forward. Stretching the left foot, left leg, toes up to the ceiling opening from your left quads hip 
Hinging the hips, arching the back, chest down and forward, right arms reaching for the front. Hold, right knee is locked, right knee is strong. Standing bow, not to rush, and slowly come back, same way. Always slowly with control, knee to knee, release the left leg, and then the right arm comes down. So going slowly up into the pose and coming even slower out of the posture. Always with control. That's how we build stamina muscles, working on the joints and lubricating the entire body inside and out. So I show the three pose, the Natrash standing bow or the dancer pose also. There's different names. The next will be standing head to knee. Standing head to knee. Again, balancing on the left leg, lock the left knee, bend forward as much your back allows you. I know some people can be right here. Right here is the best, almost 90 degree. But if you have tight back, stay right here. Then bringing the leg up. If you have tight back and tight legs, then you grab the knee and hold it right here. Modification. That's your balance. Stay here. Now, if you can, bend forward more, all the way 90 degrees, within the hip and the spine, then grab under the arch, under your foot, and hold. If you can go full further, extend the right leg, lock the right knee, and hold. Keep your foot flex, curl the toes towards your face, right knee is locked, left knee is locked. So 90 degrees with your legs, straight, locked, legs. Then bend the elbows down towards your knee, even below your knee, and hold even further into the pose. The most advanced is to lower your head or forehead to the knee and hold. Slowly come out, the same way. I'm gonna take my mat, because that throws me off. My mat is a little slow. I'm gonna do the other side, left leg balancing, standing. The right will be balancing and standing, and I'm gonna kick my left leg forward. So again, to start and modify, if your back is tight, just bringing the knee and holding right below the knee, right here, whatever is your level, and that is good. You're still balancing. If you can go forward more and grab under your arch, right on the mid part of your foot, interlock your fingers, strong grip, like a stirrup, right on the arch, hold tight, Right knee is locked, slowly start kicking your left knee, left leg, curling your toes in towards your body, towards your face, lock the left knee, right leg is strong, right knee is locked. Bend the knee, bend the elbows down below your knee. Hold, looking forward, and if you can, the last to bring the forehead towards your knee. And same way coming very slowly, one piece at a time. Your forehead first, your leg goes back, bending, and back to the floor. Standing, standing again, balancing pose here, head to knee. Standing head to knee. So again, one side is different than the other, just play around. And for that, usually I take the mat off so you really ground it on the floor. Sometimes the mat can be a little soft, so use just the floor, harder surface for more balance. So those are the three balancing. They go together 
the tree, the natarash, the standing bow, and the head to knee. Next one, balancing, also, four, we are in the four, balancing one, it's the balancing stick, very good pose, again, balancing, doing one leg at a time, so the right and then the left, so for this one, balancing stick, arms by your ears, squeeze them tight, fingers together interlocked, Interlock all the fingers, just index fingers straight up. Chest forward, hips forward, ready, step, big step with the right leg. And hinging from your hips, again going down, arms strong and straight forward, lifting the left leg as you lower in, the body down, and lifting the left leg back. So it looks like a seesaw from the side. Arm stretching forward, left leg is stretching back. Left knee is locked, toes are pointed to the back, and hold. Just look like a T, the letter T, T shape. And slowly coming back the same way you come down one piece at a time. Now let's do step with the left leg and bring the right leg. Again, arms. Squeeze them to your ears, keep them straight, elbows locked, fingers interlocked together, hips and chest forward, step with the left leg, lock both knees, keep the legs strong as you hinge and bending from your hips, your body goes parallel with the floor all the way down, and your right leg goes all the way up and back, stretching to the back, toes pointing, right knee locked, so it's one line from my right toes to my hip to my shoulder to my arm and fingers stretching forward and stretching back see so tug of war t shape and slowly coming all the way up with the arm stretching leg comes down bring all together and that is your balancing stick so play with it even if you have to bend the knee and start a little bit stay right here that is fine, but never bend the standing leg. Standing leg is always locked in and always straight, very engaged, right? The other one can be slightly bending to start with if you have to modify. And you don't have to go as much dip if you can't do it at the first time. So just practice, practice, and you'll get there. More strength, more flexibility, and more balance. So those are your balance poses. Let's do triangle, strengthening. Triangle pose, tie down. There's so many variations for a triangle. Let's do the one that I love to do the most. So bringing that tie, my left tie parallel with the flow. So bounce a little bit a few times. Your knee is right on top of the ankle, ankle right under your knee, very important. So toes turning to the side. Knee over the ankle, joint over joint, hips down as low as you can. Right leg is straight, right knee is locked. Foot is slightly turned in, 45. Extend both arms to the side and then turn left arm down and right arm goes straight up to the ceiling. Fingers together, palms facing the front. Pushing the left elbow gently to your knee to open the hips even more and hold, bringing your chin next onto your shoulder or right onto your shoulder, looking up, stretching up to the ceiling, hips down, arm up, chin to your shoulder and hold. Triangle pose and coming up. Again, triangle pose has different variations. You can do triangle like this, both legs extended, both knees are locked. Again, one arm goes down, one arm is going up to the sling, both directions. You can do this. You can also bring the right arm, wrap around your waist, and this way you can wrap both arms behind and look up into the ceiling.
you can do reverse triangle going to the back stretching right arm back you can bend slightly the left knee going forward with the left knee but arching back you can bring your arms to your back and hold in namaskar so left knee bend right leg is stretch right knee lock and arching the spine back looking up into the ceiling so there is different variation of the triangle or they also call warrior so you can do that this is the another warrior you can do where both feet are turned to one side you can interlock your arms and go down head to your knee and hold also you can bring the arms to the floor and hold both knees locked if you can you can slightly bend the front knee but try to lock the back knee and hold if you can head to the knee hold and from here we can turn the feet towards the front and just separate leg stretch standing so both feet forward hips forward head all the way down to the floor and hold you can grab the floor or you can grab behind your calves and try to bring your head the top of your head close to the floor you can bring your arms and namaskar behind you and hold working on your shoulders a little bit again holding the floor and from here I like to bend my knees and play around a little bit so go side to side lubricating the hips so toes and knees are out and just side to side and you can bring your elbows and just nicely moving side to side because for the hips and the knees little swing motion here feels good and slowly come up and let's see we have also finish with one other last pose from the standing series so we can again standing on one leg lock the left knee bend the right knee and grab with your three fingers grab around the big toe hold it tight and slowly bring to the side and hold you have to use a wall or something to hold on the opposite side and you can stretch your leg even further up so try to lock the knee keep the foot flex and hold again let's try the other side so it's a side stretch standing right knee lock keep the right leg strong again three fingers grab that big toe hook it up hold it tight don't let the grip go and slowly unbend the knee lock the knee try to stretch the leg even further to the side to open your inner thighs here side stretch curl the toes in keep the foot flex hold right knee lock left knee lock side hold bounce and slowly bring him back and chair pose chair pose you can start like this heels on the floor feet are very far on the floor hips glutes booty way down like you're sitting on a chair extend your arms forward palms facing down and hold you can bring in namaskar or extended arms and come up on the next one chair pose but a different variation more challenge come on your toes as high you can bring your heels up 
Arms to extend it forward, elbows slope, palms facing down, fingers together and slowly lower your hips, your booty down to the floor. So as low to the floor, try to keep the spine straight, heels up, knees and hips parallel with the floor, hold and slowly push back up. So that's your chair. You can do the variation when you bring the knees together, again on your toes, knees slightly in, so touching together and slowly coming down again with control, no rush. If you have to, you can place your arms to the floor when you're down to find your balance. It's a little balance pose here too again and very strengthening for the legs and the thighs, the glutes. So fingertips slightly on the floor, find your balance. Then you can try to extending the arms, reaching forward, coming up a little bit with your hips. You can even bounce a little bit here, up and down. Working on your strength and balance and slowly pushing yourself back up. And that's your chair. Variation is really good for the lower body, for your thighs, legs and booty. So try that chair. I showed you in other videos, so check, that's why I check my other videos, I show you chair and other variation on the bar, using the bar. So, but this is yoga, and we're just using our bodies, no preps. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Standing yoga sequence today, part two. Try it home, you hardly need the mat. You actually probably don't even need the mat. Just yourself and your body. Play with it, again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up and namaste, peace. Thank you. Have a great day. Cyber fitness, hit that bell. Stretch yoga. Peace. Namaste.